Good evening, everybody, or afternoon, or morning, whenever it is you're watching this, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. We are currently on our way to Bleak Falls Barrow, up there, to acquire the Golden Dragon Claw for the Riverwood Trader. And right now, we are level 2. I'm going to go ahead and show you what perk we have. It is the Novice Level Destruction. It allows us to cast Novice Level Destruction spells for Half Magicka. And with the mod that I showed you in the last episode, all destruction spells are 15% stronger. So that'll come in handy. We definitely need uh, every perk we can get that decreases the amount of magicka used because we are a storm mage and that uses the most magicka out of the three destruction schools. Frost, fire, and then, of course, storm. I also qu acquired one new mod. I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. I was browsing the workshop earlier today and I decided to download the evil mastermind armor. This was created by Satire or Satir. And just look at that. That armor looks really cool. Now, unfortunately, this is a light armor set. It is not robes. So this kind of goes against our magey type thing where we use robes. But right here, you can see the armor values. 19 for the gloves, 17 for the boots, 12 for the hood, or 15 for the hooded mask. And the QRS is 40. Uh, it's located in Dawnstar in a lock chest east of the Nightcrawler Temple. So we're going to go ahead and pick those, pick this up. Of course, this does mean that we might have to invest in enchanting now because it won't have any Magicka reduction or recharge um, perks on it. So there's that. Now let's go ahead and head up towards Bleak Falls Barrow. Of course, this wolf jerk is going to be here as always. Let's go ahead and take care of him. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> he almost got here. But now he's taking a little nap. And I think we got a destruction level increase. That is always nice. Because with every level up in destruction, you actually get a passive magicka reduction for destruction spells. So we definitely need that. Because we are a storm mage, and storm magic uses the most magicka out of the three destruct destruction schools. Fire, frost, and, of course, storm. We have a little bandit camp up here in this tower. So we're going to go ahead and pay them a little visit. Now, I don't think we have any illusion spells. Uh, nope. We do have a conjuration. I think we have enough for our conjure wolf now. I put that on before. So let's go ahead and do that. I think they have one or two archers, so we're definitely going to need this alteration armor spell. Oh, not ready yet. Okay, let's wolf it up! Let our magic recharge a little bit. <clears throat> Man, he is ready to go. <laughs> All right, let's do it. What's up? And we got an alteration increase. Nope, that person was a two-handed user, so that could have been bad. All right, our wolf is going ham. <laughs> he has a wolf or an arrow in his back. So let's see if we can knock this person off. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we're about to fall down too. Oh shoot. No. Oh. Damn it, fellas. And there goes our wolf. Gold lockpick. Helmet. Okay. Helmet was the only thing of value, I think. Let me double check that. Yes. If you guys recall, I have a 10 to 1 gold to weight ratio strategy going on when I loot bodies. We got an orc up here. Hello, are you there? No, I guess that was the uh, 
person that fell off of the little ramp. Well, that's fine with me. Usually that's the toughest one here. They're heavily armored and the other ones are in like fur or leather armor. Something relatively easy to deal with. Why I don't hear any music? Let's turn that up a little bit. Now, if my game ever does freeze like it did during that kill cam back there, I do apologize. As I've mentioned before, <laughs> why is there a random dead rabbit here? Uh, just a rabbit leg. Uh, yeah, if my game does freeze at any time like during that kill cam back there, I do apologize. My computer is not very good when it comes to recording. I can run games on maximum settings only when I'm not recording. Otherwise, I usually have to bump it down to probably the minimum, minimum or medium. Okay, I think we got three guys up here. Oh, we alerted one of them. Let's see if we can just draw him. Wait, where did our wolf? Oh, there he is. Let's see if we can draw him down here without alerting the others. Ah, shoot. Oh, there they go. Looks like they're searching for us, but they haven't found us yet. Go, go, gadget. Woof. That's one down. We need to get this two hander out of the way. And that's exactly why. <laughs> you missed a step, bro. Where's this last one at? No. All right, another destruction level up. Let's go get this guy. We don't have much coin, but we will gladly take yours. All right. I'm kind of hiding so I can let my magic recharge a little bit. Oh, you missed! Ah, oh, he got us! Looks like in the leg. What kind of armor are we wearing anyway? Over oh, wearing hide bracers and fur boots. Okay, there's no difference between hide and fur boots in terms of armor rating. <clears throat> they do way more though. Okay, let's go ahead and put on the hide boots. You guys have anything good? Gold? First shoes are absolutely worthless. Two weight and four gold. Wow. Let's see what's on and popping inside of here. Now, I think the plan after Bleak Falls Barrow will be, of course, return to Golden Claw, receive our reward from the Riverwood Trader. And let's see. I suppose we'll head to Whiterun so we can recruit Lydia as quickly as possible. We'll get through the main story missions. And then after we get Lydia, I think we are going to go ahead and travel up to Dawnstar to acquire that armor. I'll need to work on my enchanting in the meantime. I'm not going to cheese it and like enchant just a bunch, a bunch of iron daggers. I don't really appreciate that. It just kind of ruins the experience. I believe these guys are going to talk a little bit about the Golden Claw, so I'm going to go ahead and be quiet. Let's see if we get the subtitles to pop up. I'm afraid trouble has already found you. You just don't know it yet. Okay, as soon as we activate any spell, they're going to hear us. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to go ahead and activate the wolf. Our magic is going to be low, but hopefully the wolf will distract him for a little bit so our magic can recharge. So, go! Over here. Oops. Oh, this guy wants us dead. 
Oh, did he turn around? Good. That wolf's about to die, I think. Oops! <laughs> I accidentally killed it. Okay, I'm just gonna hide from this archer. Let the magic recharge. Alright, you're dead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> For armor, fur bracers, hide boots. We are not finding very good loot, I can tell you that. Oops, left this guy completely naked. Sorry, brah. Shouldn't have attacked us, though. I think there's one more corpse over here I missed. I think. Did I get this guy? Maybe I'm just tripping. That is definitely a possibility. It is rather late. It's... 218 in the morning because I am nocturnal and I stay up all night <laughs> I don't get back from the gym until like 11:15, so I'm wide awake when it's late at night but nobody cares about that empty empty I don't think there's anything up there. Magic of potion, good. How many do we have? Uh, seven. Eleven healing potions too. Hopefully we won't need too many of those. Oh. Uh, this book is the Advanced Followers Read Me book. Just, you know, a little information on that. So if you guys ever happen to download that mod, you will get that book at the very beginning. And this is a kill cam modification thing. You can increase how often the kill cam occurs. And if you're using sword and shield and stuff, it'll if it'll be in third person or first person. And stuff like that. And this guy is very smart and just... Hits that lever even though the puzzle is really easy. <laughs> I just love how he just stands there for a little bit like, uh, is that gate going to open? And then he just falls over dead. <clears throat> Not much good stuff on him. Is this snake, snake, fish? Did I get that from memory? Yes, it is. Go ahead and open that up. And I think there's a health potion up here. Indeed there is. Nothing else of note. Let's go ahead and move on. Ugh, skeevers. I cannot stand skeevers. Pickpocket increased to 16. That's useful. Not really. But we'll sell the book. Sold him. Alright, you skeevy bastards. Come on. try to stay away from them because they are notorious for having disease on them and we do not have the means of curing ourselves of disease yet not until we get the white room well if you're just gonna sit there I have no problem with zapping you in the face and there's one more up oh, there he is yeah <laughs> oh that was rewarding Have skeever tail and alchemy ingredient, but we won't be doing any alchemy. I never enjoyed alchemy anyway. Uh, paralysis poison. Scroll of fireball too. I think that's what that was. Is that you, Yours. I'm afraid not. Yes, you can't actually zap your way through spider webs. You don't have to cut them down. You can also shoot them with a bow if you have one. 
this is probably one of the most annoying fights in the game, in my opinion. Because you're always... Well, you're usually a low level when you come in here. And that spider takes forever to kill. You generally want to stay out here because if it does its power attack on you and you're on a high difficulty and a low level, it'll most likely one-shot kill you. Oh, it's inside the web. I have never seen that before. Can we kill it without removing the webs? That's the question. Uh-oh. He's going to run away. I wonder if those two will fight. That will be interesting. No, you're just going to sit there? Okay. Well, this is awkward. Oh, god damn it! Come on, Arville. Yeah, Arville the Swift. Real Swift. So I guess we just get to sit here and zap away until it's dead. It's not even doing its range attack. It shoots like a little ball of poison at you if you're far enough away. It's not even doing that, so this is one hell of a glitch. You know what, let's let's just go ahead and end this now. Okay, that was one awkward, really easy fight. I'm not complaining though. There's the golden claw we came for. Uh, Arvel's journal. Hide helmet, yes. Boots, yes. Bracers, yes. Okay. And we are going to leave him completely naked in this cave because that's what he deserves. <laughs> All these bandits deserve that. Lockpick, empty. You should have two, yes, two venoms. Not very useful, but there's something to sell. Let's read his journal real quick. My fingers are trembling. The Golden Claw is finally in my hands, and with it, the power of the ancient Nordic heroes. That fool, Luke and Valerius, had no idea that his favorite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get, the Hall of Stor get to the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there is a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that, but that, when you have the Golden Claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. And indeed, it is literally in the palm of your hands. If we go to the Golden Claw and rotate this up, we will see Bear, Moth, Owl, and that is the code to open the door to get into the Nordic Hall of Heroes, or whatever it's called. But that's not for a little bit. Empty. I don't know why I did that. Half the time I always click on the urn before I even read that it's empty. So that's just a big waste of time. I think this was empty too, yeah. Now we get to face our first Draugr, which is my favorite enemy in the game. They are very plentiful in most of the dungeons, but still... I don't know what it is, but I enjoy having... Uh, Draugr allies. Okay, there's one, two, and I think there's a third one around the corner. Let's see if we can just wake one of them up. Where are you? Are you right here? Yes, you are. Wake up. Okay, so we got one. This will make it a little easier than fighting three at one time. Come over here. I don't want to wake up your friends. Zap. Oh, you missed. We are now level three. Excellent, excellent. Go ahead and load this up. Most of the time it takes forever while I'm recording. Ooh, this time it didn't. Okay, so we're at 120 base match gun and our hood gives us gives us an extra 30. I think once I get to a base of 150, uh, I'll put an upgrade into health. Stamina is pretty much worthless for a mage. Ooh, almost leveling up with Conjuration. Can we get anything... Oh yes, we definitely want this. Still unsure about illusion. I might invest a little bit into that. 
but I'm undecided. Restoration. I think we've only had to use that once so far, so that's not a very high priority. Alteration. These spells do use a lot of magicka, but as of now, we haven't had to use it too much. <laughs> not sure if you heard that, but excuse me if you did. So yeah, I think I'm going to put this into destruction dual casting. And the magic mod I used does not alter this at all, so let's go ahead and get this. Yes. When can we get this? Ooh, level 30. That's a lot sooner than I expected. When can we get Apprentice? 25. Okay. Well, we are doing fairly well so far. I think we can fight two of these guys at once now because we have the dual destruction magic uh, perk. And it sounds like they woke up from their nap. Let's get this guy up too. Wake up. One down. Ah, uh, get him! Oh, that was close. That was close. And he was a two-handed guy too. Those guys hurt. Empty, empty. Oh, did I miss this one? Yes, I did. Okay, gotta watch out for this trap, too. I'm actually gonna use it on this upcoming Draugr, Restless Draugr. Restless Draugr is the next step up from a regular base Draugr. So they're a little more powerful, and when you're at a low level, they can be very difficult to fight. Let's see if we can be sneaky and make him step on this. Wake up. See, look at our magic. It's barely doing any damage to him. I think he also has a frost spell on him, too. Okay, we're going to have to go back around. We're over here. Ah, he used our secret way, too. Oh, is he stuck? He looks stuck. Okay, that's kind of cheap. I'm going to go over here. Man! Well, if you're just going to taunt us... <laughs> oh. That was kind of embarrassing for him. What's our money situation like? Almost 1600. I think after we leave this dungeon, we can actually get the novice robes of destruction from the Riverwood Trader. That will be handy. I think we got three more guys down here. Here's one, there's two, and then there's number three. Oh! Uh-oh, the other two are awake. And that's two down, one to go. Where'd this other guy go? Oh, wow, he ran into the blades and killed himself. <laughs> uh, I've never seen that. Well, that makes our job easier. Oops, did not mean to take that war axe. Up! Oh. Taking all kinds of stuff I don't want. You get out of here. Uh, I'm not too sure what else I took. Ah, steel war axe. Come on, you can do it. Okay, let's go ahead and pass on through here. Let's move this guy if we can so we don't trip on him. Ugh. All right. Turn that off. Alright, 
I think there's two guys. There's this guy right here, and then there's another one further in. I'm going to go activate the guy farther in, and then lure them into this trap. Should take care of them easy peasy. All right, let's go. Both of them are up. Oh, there was two of them back there. But no big deal. Took them all out. That trap really helped out, though. Oh, picked up his weapon. Don't want your crappy ass weapon. Now, when we get into more dungeons later on, you really got to be careful with traps, trip wires, and stuff like that. Because they can be one hit kills on you, even if you're, you know, covered head to toe in armor. But I don't think there's any in this, in this dungeon, aside from the uh, lanterns hanging from the ceiling and the oil below. But those are really hard for the AI to activate. And they're more for the player to use against the enemies anyway. So not a big deal. I forgot to sign off on Steam. Sorry about that. Another squirrel fireball. Can we reach this guy? No. Let's go ahead and get our conjuration level. Man, we are getting a lot of kill cams. I haven't modified that at all. But that's okay with me. Shoot. Let me verify that this is on Master. Because this is going relatively smoothly. Legendary. Have I been playing on the second highest difficulty all this time? Or is this a new thing they added with Dragonborn? Well, hell yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I never knew that existed. Kick ass. All right. Now things should get interesting. Man, I can't believe I didn't know about that. Watch where you're going. Now, I think we're, what, halfway to level four? I think. Yeah. Maybe we can get to level four before we fight the final boss in this area. That would be nice. If we're going to do that, I think I should do a little alteration. Oh. I need to resummon my wolf. We got another Wrestle Strauger up ahead. I don't think this one's going to be stupid enough to taunt us three times and just let us zap him. Alright, let's go. Our wolf is getting in there. Good. And as you can see, even with the dual destruction casting bonus, he's still at like, what, a thir two thirds of his health? So yeah, these guys are pretty tough. Where do, did our wolf just run off like a coward? Are you serious? Oh, there he is. And there he goes. <laughs> that was not very useful. Now, I'd rather not use my Magicka potions because the final boss is going to be tougher than this, especially on this new legendary difficulty. So I have a feeling I'm going to need my potions for that guy. You know what? Okay, we can use one. I think we picked one up not too long ago. Alright. I'm going to let him get to the top of this hill and then I'll go ham. Should be enough to kill him. No? Wow. 
This guy is tough. Very stubborn. You know I've won. You can't catch up to me. There we go. No! Oh my. <laughs> That's two kill cams we've gotten and he's still not dead. There we go. Silver ring. Basically worthless. That was close. He's gearing up a power attack and everything. I'd rather not take a risk and slip off that cliff and die, so. Take the long way around. Did I loot this guy? Yes. Wow, really? Go ahead and acquire the goodies. Oh, just missed it. Damn it, fellas. Now that is worth a pretty penny. What is our weight at? Oh, we got plenty to go. Hey, what's going on everybody? Sorry about that abrupt ending, but the original recording was an hour long, so I went ahead and cut that into two parts. If you'd like to continue, just click that next episode button and it will pick up right where it left off in part two. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you have any tips for me, just go ahead and leave them in the comments section. And I hope you guys stick around, so take care everyone. Bye.